Welcome Transthers to the 500 subscriber Q&A special. And before we start this Q&A, I want to give each and every one of you a big fat thank you for reaching over 500 subscribers. It's amazing, I never thought it would make it this far, so thank you to all of you. So let's go start out with the Q&A. Now if you remember, a week ago I posted a video called the lead up video where you can put your Q&A comments. Now, say for instance you missed out, I'll be doing another one for the 1000, so stay tuned for that one. So our first question comes from FNAF2 Bros, and he says, do you want to add clips to my stop motion? Also, what is your dumbest school rule from all the schools you've gone to? Well, I guess I can show some clips of your stop motion on screen right now. And the dumbest school rule is no hoodies. The school that I go to, you are not allowed to wear hoodies or you get a detention. I don't know why, I guess it's just because of dress code, but that's how it goes. Our next question comes from Donald Gucher. And he says, could you help me out, like, putting some of my stop motion videos on yours? Well, here you go. And I gotta say, your stop motion videos are actually pretty cool. I did see the one, uh, I think it was Scorn versus, uh, Grimlock. And that one was pretty cool. That's the one that's actually playing on screen, guys. So go check him out. There's the card up there. He makes stop motion. And he's going to be doing a casting call soon. So if you guys want to be part of his stop motion, go ahead. Go ask him. You know, he's a chill dude. Our next question comes from Jazza Autobot. And he says, hey, bro, if you could be any Transformer, who would it be? And what team should you be on? So honestly, it would be between Shockwave or Onslaught. And I think would actually go with Onslaught just because he's a tow truck and how cool he was. And I would be a Combaticon leader, which would mean I'm on the Decepticon team. This next question comes from Taco. Rick. Q&A. Can this be a question? Probably. I guess it could be. Our next question comes from one of our oldest subscribers, Glitch0-0, and he says, if you could be any Transformer from the movieverse, who would it be and why? And another question is, how's your channel growing so quickly? Well, because I already answered the first question, I'll be answering your second one. How am I growing so quickly? So for your second question, how I grow so quickly is because I put a lot in time and effort in these videos, and I kind of do something that not a lot of people do, because I do theories. Now, I've been looking around YouTube for a while, and I've seen you know, just a few channels that I do theories but not that many so I kind of fall in a subgroup so which means that's how I get popularity for doing something that stands out unlike gaming videos and that type of stuff and actually fun fact this channel originally was going to be a gaming channel called Jolt Gaming but I scrapped that idea and I moved on to trans theories. Our next question comes from Blue Race Car. Q&A which is your favorite transformer that wasn't in the Michael Bay movies? Ooh, that's a good question dude that's a good question. Um I gotta say I either like Lugnut now from the Hunt Decepticon series or Cliff Jumper from the 2007 toy line. I like both of their designs and they were really cool. He also responds by, hashtag Q&A, what is your favorite character from my Age of Darkness stop motion series? Well, my favorite character in your series is either Hound or Jolt because Hound just came out of the wall and just like, nope, this is me. You forgot me. And I, that part made me laugh so hard. So I got to say Hound or Jolt because Jolt is one of my favorite Autobots and Hound, he was just funny. Our next question comes from WWE fan 01. Hashtag Q&A. Who introduced you to Transformers? Well, who introduced me to Transformers was my mom, actually. A long time ago when I was younger, she introduced me to Transformers because she watched the old cartoon when she was, uh, I think a kid or so. At the time, I think Transformers Animated was on the TV, and there was also a cartoon, I think it was Armada. And yeah, it was not the best cartoon, but I love that show, even though I criticize it heavily now. But I grew up with the animated series, and then I moved on to the live action movie verse, and it was all thanks to her that I got into Transformers. What got you to start your own channel? Well, originally, I I did a YouTube channel called Jason TRSM, and here's some clips of it right now. I know it's very cringy, so go enjoy, guys. Hey guys, Jason the Redstone Master here, and this is my first mod reveal, Mr. Clayfish's mod. 1.7, it's a 1.7.10 mod, and this is portion two of the mod. And also, I will show you how to make a sword like this in a different video. And look at all that goody stuff. <laughs> And I originally started that channel because I knew a lot about Minecraft and yeah. And then originally this channel when I moved on was going to be about gaming called Jolt Gaming, but I changed it to Trans Series. And originally why I stopped Jason TRSM is because I got in trouble for YouTube and it's more of a personal story, but let's just say I did something I should have not done and that's why YouTube kind of got cut and then I was lucky enough to make a new channel for you guys. And that channel only has 80 fast subscribers and look at us. We have 519, so I got to give guys a big fat thank you. His last question is, do you have any advice for starting a channel? Well, for you WWE fan, um, if you ever need help, just go ask me, but I'll tell you all the basics. What I prefer if you guys want to get success is to do something that's not, you know, already been done, like a gaming channel. Or if you want to do a gaming channel, put your own input in it. Make yourself have your own personality that stands out from the rest of the group. Like do something 
that's different. I'm kind of different from the Fire Bros and a lot different from Diamond Bolt. But for me, I would just say do something that stands out, not something that's been common or done before. And WWE fan, if you're going to be starting your own channel, go for it, dude. And this next Q&A question comes from Gooey Mac and Cheese. And he says, number one, what figure is your prized possession? Oh, that's a great question. I actually have the Dakara Tomy DA34 Leadfoot with the Repo labels. Now that has to be my precious possession I ever had. He cost 500 bucks when I first got him. He was 500, but now on Amazon, he dropped 300. His second question is, what got you into Transformers? Well, it was originally my mom, and I kind of told that story in the last question, but she got me into Transformers. What is your favorite Transformers design? Oh my gosh, that is a great question. Um, let me think here. It's either between Onslaught or Shockwave, because Shockwave was just so cool with his one eye, and that carries on to Nitro Zeus, but I gotta say Onslaught, just because that those tires on the back, he was my all-time favorite. He was really cool. And his fourth question is, what is your favorite Transformers figure line? I gotta say, it's either between Hunt for the Decepticons or the new Studio Series. Now, I'm gonna say Studio Series because they're gonna give us characters that we don't have, so I'm more hyped for that one. And I do have a lot of figures from the Hunt for the Decepticons line, but not as many as the original main line, like Dark of the Moon, uh, Voyagers, and Deluxes. This next question question comes from the legendary Dev the Gunner, and you can check out his channel in this card. So he says, do you think there should be like a short of studio series version of the Constructicons that didn't get a toy? Scrap Metal, Scrapper, Buckethead, Hightower, and Overall. Yes, I would love to see those guys as toys because I could complete them in my collection and we really need to have more Constructicons. Hopefully they'll engineer them in a way that we can actually combine them into Devastator, but I highly doubt it, but hey, it's possible. This next question comes from Isaac Games. Hashtag Q&A. What is your least favorite Decepticons and Autobots? Least favorite? Um... That's a hard question, actually. My least favorite Autobot has to be Skids and Mudflap just because, you know... Yo, lay out! Give me a heart attack, I swear. That's because you're the you one. You forced me into that car, right? So. Oh, I think he's scared. Hey, Mudflap. What are we gonna do with this shrimp taco? You know, just bump a cap in his ass, throw him in the truck, and then nobody ain't gonna know nothing, not me. Yeah, not in my trunk. And that's basically why. And for Decepticons, well, I kind of like all the Decepticons. I'm actually more of a Decepticon fan than Autobot. So, with Decepticon, who would be my least favorite? You know, honestly, I actually don't know. Um, that's actually a really hard question. I'm trying to think really hard about that. Maybe actually Sentinel Prick because, you know, he killed Ironhide was one of my favorite Autobots. This next question comes from Dev the Gunner again. Hashtag Q&A. How to Spitfire just appear out of nowhere? I made a video all OBIS appearances. By the way, if you want to see it. So how did he just appear? Well, if you guys don't know, Spitfire or Lieutenant is actually the same character, I think. And he was that one guy that said, I'll get him, boys, and then he fell down. And how did he appear? I honestly think he was actually came down during the World War II, and then he met up with Sir Edmund Burden, and that's how he was there. And he appeared by maybe Sir Edmund Burden and Cogman gave him a message to go pick up Cade. So that's how I think that went down. And this next one comes from Cameron Donald. Hashtag Q&A. What got you into Transformers in the first place? Well, it was my mom who introduced me to it, and it was the best thing ever. I'm surprised I haven't actually grown out of it yet but hey it's a great passion to have so this channel is going to be sticking around for a good 30 years this next question comes from goji prime 432 hashtag q a out of the five movies in the transformers movieverse well as of now which one do you think is the best well for the best i have my best and then i have my favorite the best would be the first movie because of the best storyline but my favorite would be dark of the moon his second question is who's your favorite transformer autobot or decepticon autobot would be jolt or ironhide i really cannot pick between the two but i think they're both cool i actually really like the characters that don't get that much screen time which i think they're more cool because they have like a secret personality and for decepticon it would be onslaught or shockwave this next question comes from dev the gunner hashtag q a what is your opinion about dark of the moon devcon and it's weird because my name is devon and his is devcon well i think that is actually a pretty cool coincidence mr dev the gunner and for about devcon i think devcon was a pretty cool character i liked what he transformed into well according to his concept art and he was not like your standard transformer he had like big feet and his mouth had like a gun and i think it was pretty cool so devcon was pretty cool or Next question comes from the Lonely Eevee. Hashtag Q&A, when did you get into Transformers? Well, I got into Transformers at least around the time between Energon or Animated. I do not know the years on those, but I'll post those on screen right now. So it's between those two years. And this next question comes from, that's a toilet. What is your worst Transformer that you ever bought? The worst Transformers figure I ever bought was the Age of Extinction Bombie because I just hated that figure. I got it just because, you know, it was Bombie's new look. That was the only reason why, but I do not like the transformation on that. It's just, it's just bad, especially the repaint of him to turn into Stinger. And I'll soon be getting the Studio Series Stinger, but I actually have Crowbar on the way. This next question comes from Green Racer. Hashtag q &A. What is your favorite Transformer who died at least once in a Transformers movie? Well, because all my favorite Autobots died and Decepticons died. Oh, God. 
god. Well, because we didn't get to see that much of Onslaught or Shockwave, I'll take him out. But it would definitely be Ironhide just because how cool he is. Our next question comes from Josh Games YT. Hashtag Q and A. Favorite series from the Unicron trilogy. I honestly do not know what the Unicron trilogy is, Mr. Josh, but I will put my favorite on screen right now because I'll be off screen looking at some. Our next question comes from Zakai Aya A. Hashtag Q and A. What Transformer out of the first three Bayverse movies would you be? I gotta say Jolt just because I like his design and he has Electro Whips or Dino. It's hard to tell because those are two of my favorite Autobots. I know I left out Dino for like some of the questions, but Dino just hit my mind just because they use melee weapons like blades and whips. Our next Q&A question comes from Game Rules 2.0. He says, are you going to make a video on what if I survived Ironhide edition? I just want to know. Yes, I will be doing a video on that soon, but the next what if I survived is going to be Devastator and then it will be Ironhide. Our next question comes from Blackout 4500X. Hashtag QA. With the new studio series, what characters from the movieverse would you want to see? Both Autobot and Decepticon. I would want to see a Voyager Onslaught, and for the Autobots, I would actually want to see a redone Dragon Storm with all Voyagers and Deluxes combining to turn into the dragon. This next question comes from Game Rules 2.0. Hashtag QA. Do you prefer the Transformers games like World for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron stories or the movie stories? I actually, to be honest, like the Fall of Cybertron and War for Cybertron. Cybershot stories because they're way better than the Michael Bay writing. Our next question comes from Lucky Charms. Your Lucky Charms! Drop it! Have you ever poured a bowl and wished that it could be free of all the oats, marshmallow only? Well, today's your lucky day, your wish just came true. Oh snap, Tim Bossy, maybe what's for you? You want marshmallow only? Q and A. Number one, out of any character in the Bavers, not including already listed characters, who would you want a remake of? <sighs> a remake of? I honestly would not know, but I think a good remake would be for Skids and Mudflap just to, you know, give them a better personality. I'm not 100% sure because I honestly like all the designs because I get attached with each of these characters, so I really gotta see a redone version of Skids and Mudflap, I guess. Number two, do you think Bone B would make a good Prime? Well, for B, I think it would actually make at least a good Prime, but if you take what happened in Robots in Disguise... No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Yeah. I don't think it would be a good prime in that cartoon, but for the Bavers, he would be a pretty good uh, leader. I would actually prefer Ironhide being one. And number three. In the battle to the death, who would win out of these four characters? Optimus Prime, Aligned, Bavers, Beast Wars, or G1? Thanks for reading. Well, just because Optimus Prime in the Bavers is a face ripper murderer, um... I think it would be him because, yeah, he would kill the Aligned, definitely he would kill the Aligned Prime, and he would kill G1 because G1 Optimus Prime is a kind soul, unlike what we got in the Bavers. So, I think Optimus Prime and the Bavers would kill everyone. And our next question comes from jackolay 69 xd Hashtag Q&A, can you make a video on what if I survived Ironhide? That is actually in the making after the Devastator video. Our next question comes from Victor Hernandez. Hashtag Q&A. Do you think Dark of the Moon would have been a good movie if Shockwave was made the main villain, meanwhile, while Megatron was healing i actually think that would be an awesome idea having megatron in the background yes we would see some good scenes of megatron in my opinion in that movie but for shockwave being the main villain totally our next question comes from espo striker hashtag q a i'm a newcomer to the channel and i want to know Who's your favorite Autobot and Septicon in any continuity? So let's actually take the Prime continuity since we've been talking about the movie first. So in Prime, I guess my favorite Autobot was definitely Cliff Jumper just because how strong he was and cool. Um, and for Decepticon, it would be Knockout. Well, technically he is an Autobot, but Knockout is just one of those characters, you know. He had a great personality, and I hope he's in the Bumblebee movie, but we'll never know. The next Q&A comes from Hyperpixel MC. Hashtag Q&A. Will you ever do any toy reviews of any Transformers? Heck, will you ever do some on the bootleg Transformers toys? I think the only thing I'm actually going to be doing is maybe when my crowbar arrives and I'll be doing a Transformers tutorial. So there's going to be a poll on screen. So if you guys want to see a video on me transforming and talking about that crowbar studio line figure, click yes. If not, click no. Our next question comes from Darkbeat68. Hashtag Q&A. Which Bumblebee toy is better than 2006? Wave 4 or The Last Night Wave 3. So between the Wave 4 and the Wave 3, they were both great toys, but I'm gonna say that The Last Night Bombi is better, not the official release by Hasra, but the Dakara Tommy one with the hammer. Our next question comes from Mindwipe96. Which movie Optimus Prime design do you like? The Peterbilt truck, the one in the original trilogy, or the Western Star, The Last Night, the Transformers 4 and the Transformers 5? I despise The Last Night Optimus Prime, especially because he is a Transformer. He has to be a Transformer. He's not supposed to be a freaking knight. Where is the truck 
parts just besides of the smokestacks. I love the Peterbilt version. It was my all-time favorite Optimus Prime and I'll stay my all-time Optimus Prime. The next question comes from JC Films. What do you think the new Transformers reboot will have in store for us? Well, what I think it has in store for us is a better story and I hope they actually focus on the robots instead of the characters. Now, I hope they use their CGI models because I know they have them all saved in somewhere on a computer and they all have the cars stored in warehouses as we see with the Onslaught truck in the Optimus Prime Western Star. They're stored at Western Star, so I hope they reuse the designs. And I honestly believe Optimus, Megatron, and B are going to have a new rehaul of their designs just because how popular they are just to sell toys. And next question comes from Blue Racer. Hashtag Q&A. Which Autobot do you think is going to die in the next Age of Darkness? I actually think it's going to be Jolt, and I think you're going to be killing him off in an epic way. Our next question comes from Dev the Gunner. When Galvatron and Age of Extinction got blown up by Bombi and he fixed himself, doesn't that make every KSI bot indestructible? Well, here's the thing. I think Galvatron got lucky just because he was infected by Megatron that made him invincible. I think the other ones, because they weren't infected, just got made alive by Megatron. They were not invincible. I think it was only Megatron. Because, you see, Optimus stabbed his sword through his chest, but when Bombi shot off Stinger's head, Stinger died, but Galvatron never died. So, I do not think all the KSI bots are indestructible. I think that the only one is Galvatron. The next question is from Blue Racer. Hashtag Q&A, what is your favorite scene from 1-5 through Bayverse? My favorite scene is either the freeway chase or when Optimus Prime kills the Infernicons. Just because of the soundtracks that were used, it just made the scene a lot better. Our next question comes from Keiju Wrestling Fan 2003. Hashtag Q&A. I noticed in TF1 when Blackout uses EMP weapon, it blasts a power shockwave in the Sodian base. But in the final battle, he uses it and shoots a car, but the car blocks it. WTF, LOL. So why does this happen is because I think Blackout uses a cooldown to make it more stronger. So I think he has to wait 5 seconds before he can do the next shot that explodes everything. Unless if he does a quick shot, it does not really do anything at all. Or it was just Michael Bay screwing up again. This next question comes from Comic Theories. Hashtag QA. Who do you think is the weakest Decepticon and Autobot? The weakest Autobot would either be Brains and Wheelie. Decepticon would definitely be Nokia Bot. The next QA question comes from Keiju Western Fan 2003. What if the AllSpark never got destroyed and Megatron eventually got his hands on it? That is actually a great question. So this is my mini theory on that. So I think Megatron would actually get the cube, make a new army, and he would kill off all the Autobots and then eventually take over the world because, you know, he would have to find the Star Harvester next and reactivate the Fallen because he killed Prime, the Fallen is reactivated. And then eventually, they go up to Cybertron, or actually not Cybertron, but the Moon, and they revive Sentinel. So basically, the Autobots are all killed out and Decepticons have their plans to do. Our next question comes from Eliza Dean Scene. Hashtag Q&A, who and why is your favorite Transformer? That is a good question. I actually do not have my favorite Transformer. But I gotta say it would either be using Shockwave and Onslaught, but let's use Shockwave. Why I like Shockwave a lot is because how menacing he was. Michael Bay could have done so much more of him, but he didn't, which was a waste because he got killed by Optimus Prime in seconds. I really wish he actually spoke like his G1 counterpart, but that never happened. But for Shockwave, why I love him is because he has one eye and how evil he is. And he rides a freaking driller beast. Our next question comes from Bull101. How did you get 400 subscribers so fast? I have two reasons why. What I did to get 400 subscribers so fast was I stood away from the crowd and I did my own theories and stuff. And it was because I have good quality most of the time. In the beginning videos, they were iffy quality, but now I got pretty good quality. Our next question comes from Ironhide. Hashtag Q and I. Are you stuck in a boo-boo? Um, I honestly don't know what that means, but I guess. Our next question is from Mr. Cool Science. Hashtag Q and A. What made you start this channel? Well, because of my knowledge of Transformers, and I knew a lot because I make theories, and I originally had a notebook where I wrote down things on how Transformers survived, and I talked to one of my friends, Alvi, who's also named as Alvitos. You can see him sometimes in the comments, he doesn't really comment as much, but I usually talk to him about theories and stuff, and that's how I got more ideas because me and him know a lot about Transformers from the comics, especially in the movie-verse. He knows a lot more about Omada and stuff, but for me, the movie-verse, I know almost everything about it. Well, guys, that's all the comments, and I gotta say a big fat thank you to each and every one of you who actually took your time to comment on the video, and I do want to say another big fat thank you for 519 subscribers. It's been great working with you all, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Trans Theories, signing off. What do you call a silver grill?